Hi, I'm Tom, coming to you from the Don't Screw It Up workshop and world headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you for selecting this video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Husqvarna BT150 leaf blower. This thing's a beauty. I'm going to show you how it works, but I got one problem with it, and we're going to fix that today. Now it's that time of year for leaf blowing here in Cleveland, Ohio, so I strapped this bad boy on. Now the problem with this blower is that the tube is too short. I mean, look at it. I'm in the perfect ergonomic position for blowing leaves and the end of my tube is about two feet off the ground. The leaves are on the ground, man. I mean, if I point this down to where I get really super power, I mean, this would be good if I'm trying to blow the dust off my boots or something, but for blowing leaves, I just got no angle on the leaves here. It just doesn't work. There goes my mail delivery person. She wanted to be in the video today. So people say I'm out of the ordinary in many ways, but not in terms of height. I am the average height of an average human male person. And this thing is just too short. I mean, if I wanted to strap this on a child, let the child blow my leaves, I could do that. But we don't do that kind of thing around here in Cleveland. So I got to figure out a way to get this tube longer so I can get the appropriate angle on my leaves. So I tried to use this one day, did about half my yard. I was so hunched over at the end of the day, I looked like Quasimodo, not Quasimodo. I am a fully evolved Homo erectus. Let's figure out how to make this tube longer. So if we size up the problem here, I basically got this end tube. They gave you two options for this. This one's the high pressure one. This one's the low pressure, but you can't put these together. I mean, that gains you six more inches and it doesn't really lock in there. But that, that's probably not recommended by the manufacturer in that configuration. There's this middle tube in here, but that would just make it shorter if I take that off. So if I want to lengthen this thing, I need more tube. So what do I do? I got some PVC tube right here. I got some duct tape and I got a saw and I can custom make this to whatever length I want. But before I did this, I thought, I don't know if I need to be putting duct tape or PVC tubing on my brand new Husqvarna leaf blower. I mean, the color doesn't even match. That looks kind of stupid in my neighborhood. So I went on to Google and I just typed in to see if you could buy additional parts for this thing. And surprise, surprise, surprise. Look what I found on the Google. You can buy extra middle tubes. This still doesn't match. I don't like the color, but at least it works. So I put that bad boy on. That gains me a little bit over 12 inches. And then look what else I found on the Google. This specialized thing called a flat nozzle. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect for leaf blowing. I didn't know anything about this. Didn't come in the box. Look what I just did here. I just added all this length and I got this flat nozzle on the end. This is custom made for leaf blowing. Perfectly fits the height of an average human man like myself. Here are the part numbers if you're interested. This is called the middle tube. 5770793301. This is about 12 and a half inches long. That's 32 centimeters. If you're in one of the 197 countries in the world that uses the metric system, unlike the one I'm in, this is the flat nozzle, part number 5024440001. This is also about 12 and a half inches long, roughly 32 to 33 centimeters. Let's put these bad boys on here, take this outside, and we'll give her a test drive and see if it works. Here's the original part that came from the factory. That's what I'm talking about. Good luck on your next project. Don't screw it up. Thanks for watching my video, and thanks to the U.S. Postal Service for being in it today.